Can I pop out chat again? Uh, you I haven't been able to for a while. Uh, if you you have to disable moderator settings, like in the gear, it defaults to moderator settings if you're a mod. Mm -hmm. So if you uh, oh, does that prevent me from seeing? Yes. Yeah, switch to non-mod settings, and then you'll get pop out chat. But no, no, no. That that part has always been fine. I, I understand how to get to like make the pop out happen. My my complaint over the last two weeks or so has been that when I did pop out the chat, it would not load any messages in chat. It was useless. Oh, well that I, I um, don't know if I can help you with. Yeah, I, I don't know what caused it, and I don't know why it got better. Let's see if um, my so method thing. still works. Okay. Yeah, I saw your hamburger. My method is um, I just point my browser to twitch.tv slash popout slash nobit and slash chat. Yeah. Yeah, I, maybe, maybe I should start doing that too, because it's like... We'll right. Of the pop out part of it, which I we're on a, we're anyway. on we're on a SNES, which means the yes. side button is the A button. Yes. Um, the old timey. You appear to be starting a new game. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. File. Your emulation reset, please. Yeah. Back in the day, the A button was confirm and B was cancel. X was menu. There we go. Uh, y was basically unused. They kind of changed that up in, um, in later games, but it's just, you know, it's kind of always what we did. Okay, um... Hello, Sly09. Hello, Kiri Evo. Or Kiri Evo, I, I never know. Alright. I mean, I have, I'm, I'm no better, right? I have an unpronounceable Twitch name. No, I... That's, that's the only part of things that suck. Did we uh, arrive to the cave or exit from the cave? We have exited from the cave. You All defeated right. the ant lion and obtained the sand ruby, which you can see somewhere in your inventory, I think. It's probably under in items. Usually there yeah. is a <laughs> here you are. Sand, sand ruby. ruby. Yep. Cannot so use here. Like, yeah, you do have a backpack um, that has limited space. Yes, that is what so, the big chocobo oh. is for. Correct. I we'll will be examining that later. Um, but yeah, it contains key items and regular items alike. Have to puzzle my way through the shoals. <laughs> the, the puzzle my, of, the, of the, the, the shoals, yes. The puzzle of my left kiss and fazio. Oh, now this is actually pretty cool. So go to the left, and then you can find shoals that will take you all the way to Dam... Um, maybe we're in Damsian now. Uh, we, we can take them to Kaibo. Yeah, Kaipo. Yeah. So He's down here. You don't have to go through an entire huge three-part cave with Octoman anymore. You can just, you know, you just I, go. I miss the Octo... the Octopuff. Um... Octoman. So, we were trying to get the Sand Ruby so that we could cure Rosa of Desert Fever. Yeah. The sand Ruby Fever cures the Desert Fever. But we better check the books first. We don't know if it'll work. Um, we'll check. Yeah, we'll definitely the, check the books. Yeah. The best remedy for desert fever it's is Ooh, it's sand ruby. That's good. Okay, That's the good. Sand we got ruby. something that exactly matches that. Uh, we also ruby. need the sand ruby. What does mm. this person have to say about the sand ruby? She kept falling down. She she kept fr yeah. Well. We, we kept her from falling down. Have... Yeah, shout out to the uh, design of the carpet in this. It looks totally awesome. Okay, it doesn't it detract the appear. item if it doesn't work. I tried feeding yeah, her a potion. didn't work. Tents didn't work either. Oh. Well, I mean, she's already in a bed. I don't think a tent would work. I mean, it'd be like a double bed. Like a bunk bed. Or a yurt. Okay. Bed plus tent right, is I'm... yurt. Bed... <laughs> Is that like a Minecraft thing? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Cecil. Weird. Oh, you're... Who's Golbez? I've heard that name before. Says me, the Cecil. By the way, who is Golbez? Mm, the king is not the same as he used to be. Mm. 
and collect all the crystals. There's a yeah, lot of Yeah, I guess we've just, we've got their conspiracy undone right here. We know what's going on. Fabul. That's, it's really sweet. The, the first thing that Rydia says to, to Rosa is, are you okay? <laughs> well, you have, a, you, have a, you have a foppish bard and a murder-hardened man, so the empathy has to come from her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got <laughs> From the mouths of babes. That's that's where we get the, the human empathy. <laughs> you gotta go to Mount Hobbs to go to Fabul. Yeah. The trail is it's, blocked it's by way thick way ice. There, yeah. The reason to have like divisions between countries, like large geological formations that you know naturally divide borders, it's fine. Can you use sure. the spell of fire? Okay, this is a cute thing. Um, so I've been playing Bravely Default, and there was someone in my chat like a couple nights ago who was on the localization team for Bra Bravely Default and related a couple stories about you know the fun times they had doing that job. One of which was spell names always had to be init capped, right? So fire capital F, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But they had to comb the entire script for its usages to make sure they were all init capped if it referred to the spell. But if people were talking about the common English noun fire, it you know used regular cases instead. All right, are you ready for a battle that blows hard? Well, I'm a master of wizardry and battle and yeah, battlements. That's, yeah, so it will go. It will go great. Yeah, no, it'll it'll be fine. I know a goblin. Water hag. Yeah, water. I hag. will sing it, you, you water I, hag. I I hate to bring this up because we worked so hard at it. Um. I can't hear. <laughs> That's because I turned it down. Sorry. How? How's this? Oh, it, it... stopped. It stopped oh. using voice meter. Oh heck! I'm so sorry for this. <laughs> it's got to be the so emulator that to... hates it. Yeah. It, it... Well, we'll fix it next time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm glad to hear that uh, Ribs Carrillo was in the credits of Star Ocean 4. I have an irrational love of uh, of Ribs. I don't know why. I mean, that's why it's irrational, right? It just, he comes up in all of these games that I play and enjoy. <laughs> um, yeah, I can I can hear the game now. It's it's a little better. That's because you are, you're just getting the, through Discord. Okay. Yeah, it'll... Yeah, there it goes, crunching up. Thanks, Discord. Good. It's good. Man, where's... Okay, man. There's what, there must be multiple audio engines running in SNES 9X. This is weird. We've discovered hmm. the only use case where it ever comes up, and that's for when you're using <laughs> voice meter to share screen, but not through the actual thing. Okay, so there's Anna. She appears to him as a ghost. I love ghosts. Again, speaking back to the economy of sprites and how, you know, for for games at this time, you had to kind of justify what you would and would not have as space and, and so on. Don't sing it in. It's, it's useless. I love singing. Don't do it. Okay, there's, there's a legit danger to this. Because it's kind of a, a softball of a fight because mm -hmm. Edward's alone. Um, if Waterhag gets you to critical health, you might no longer be able to complete the fight because Edward auto hides. So that's the nightmare scenario. That's kind of what so, I'm hoping happens. Yeah, and <laughs> I, I want the nightmare, Kaz. <laughs> give it, give it to me. Ah, you didn't get it. <laughs> um, I attacked three I, times in one. Okay, good. <laughs> Maybe I, I was I was overstating the case, but like, it can it can legit go wrong. <laughs> like, I just get a crit in or something. 
Don't go, ghost. Haunt me forever. Please. I want you to make future lovers very awkward by having you just be around as a ghost. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Always. They can see her, too. Just, you know. Yeah, hello, bird teeth. Yeah, hello, bird teeth. I, I am Kaz. It's my Ooh, name. Star Ocean 4 till the end of time. They call it that because that's how long you'll have to play that fucking game to get to the end. <laughs> <laughs> I swear there is some Star Ocean game that I like, but I can't for the life of me differentiate them by any of my memories. Star so... Ocean 2 for a PlayStation. That's is like, probably a good one. I don't know. I'll have to e examine this in more detail later. I got Rosa, um, who should not be in... Yes. Uh, so, uh, we basically do have three back row characters, but thankfully, we can set three pre people to be in the back row, because we can do, like, you know, the old uh, one three five thing. There we go. Um, we want to examine Rose's equipment also. She's got she, iron... She's, a, yeah. uh, she's got 50 iron arrows. Correct. Uh, she's a bow user and an experienced one. She knows how to correctly wield it. You'll notice that short bow is in the left hand and iron is in the right. That's because she's right-handed and draws with her right hand. So she's, um, not, she's not a switch hitter. Them. Try putting short bow in right hand and iron in left. Yeah, 10. 10 instead of 12. Because she's not as, as good fighting that way. It's cute. You think Cecil uses wrong hand? Yeah, he, we can we can do that. But I, we can... I have no reason to do it, though. <laughs> I, why is there a hand at this in this game? I don't know, but it's kind of cute. Um, what if you... <laughs> Use your dreamer in, in the wrong hand. I can't! No, it... It's a two-handed weapon, so it won't let you. That's <laughs> it's two-handed. You should be able to use it either way. It's like literally being a switch hitter in, in baseball is when you just yeah. you step onto the other side of the plate and hold your baseball in the other hand, leading hand. Yeah, you hold your baseball. As <laughs> you hold your baseball. Man, baseball would be a much different sport if the pitcher threw bats and you had to hit them with a baseball. I think hitting a bat with a ball m might be easier than hitting a bat a ball with a bat. Yeah. It'd be harder to hit it out of the infield, yeah, but it'd be like, easier to touch in, it. In any kind of useful capacity. I didn't recover. Unless you mean for my fear of fire. Mm. Well, you can... And this, now that we have 40, four party members, this is where mashing on the... The shoulder button to rapidly switch people starts to get like fun and a little psychedelic. But does that actually change my nope that just changes your overworld sprite. Nope, it's just a display thing. Oh, speaking of just a display thing, next time we're on the world map, we should try to use a magic spell. Yeah, we should use a magic spell. Okay. Oh, so in Halo yesterday we had an issue because we tried to do a secret thing, but our loading speed or loading speed was too good, <laughs> so it was inordinately difficult to do. Cast yeah, sight. I, we can actually cast sight. This is what it does. It zooms out. Pressing any button <laughs> zooms you back in. <laughs> oh right, yeah. There was a dedicated button for switching graphics and. In Halo 2. Oh right. Okay, so when that happened, when, when you guys were doing that stuff, I I told you to remind me to remind you to play the messenger, um, um which you should do at some point. Cause the, it's good. This, oh, I thought but, the level design was bad. At least that's what you it, talked about some. Well, yeah, I like long hallways, that, and I think that it could greatly improve from like a once-over level design kind of thing. The thing is, I can't actually call the game bad because it contains a good game within it. Can't cast sight while in no. the hovercraft. That no, is not, illegal. Not in the hovercraft. That's, that that's is a, illegal. An illegal casting of sight. Two MP for this. Yeah. <laughs> See where Park. you're going. 
Nice. What's that island off to the left? Who knows? I don't actually yeah, know. Don't actually know where I'm going. It would probably okay, be up, so, I would guess. Um, you've been to Mount Hobbs before. Do you remember that? No, absolutely not. Okay. Right, <laughs> I do well, not remember where I was. Going north and east past the Sand Ruby Cave and Oh yeah, I remember it now. One other thing. I. It's all coming back to me. You're kind of again. Yeah. You're it's... still in a pit. It's got kind of a bigger pit, but it's still a pit. Uh, I can't. I can. I can put my hovercraft here. I cannot park it here, but I can park it here. Oh, that's weird. They don't want me to be... put myself in the ocean. That should be an illegal square, but I don't know, man. I don't know the rules. I squeaked in. I cheated. Yeah. I'm a <laughs> cheater. Okay. Wah! <Yeah. laughs> I cheat. Cast the spell. Did they not just think of bringing, like, logs and a flint and tinder? Or is it magic ice? I mean, that's a lot of ice. I also... I got... I don't like burns, either. Burns are the one... It, I have a very high tolerance of pain, but the burn is the one I am... I am not tolerant of. Hmm. So if you ever must attack me, use fire. <laughs> I, I see. I'll not keep that in mind. Thank you. <laughs> Please do this thing you hate. Cause your... S I murdered your mom! Now to cast the fire spell! <laughs> Again. And she does. And now fire is part of Rydia's spell book. As I said before, she can... If you level her up here enough, she will just learn the biggest spells, so you could actually have Fire 3 at this point. <laughs> but that's not good. This is specifically unlocked by Fire 1. So. But no, that too, the fire's too big. Bomb. Oh, yeah. Why did we get like, these guys to do it for us? I don't know. I guess they were just. waiting. Uh, if we have Rudia attack, we probably want her to use yeah, her rod. ice rod instead. Yeah, you got a bow, though. Wizard, yeah. wizard yeah. bow. In which case, you want her to use aim instead of fight. Um, it's the same thing from a Final Fantasy V. Ah, where it's just inordinately shitty for no reason. Yes. Well, uh, all of our party members are kind of bad at the whole fighting thing. Now we, we have. Oh, well, we got we had a, we have a bunch of children. <laughs> so what are we going to do? We have a child, um, a a princeling, and um, a medic. <laughs> oh no, spirit! Oh, We're going to fight spirit. I love these guys. Look at them. <laughs> Oh no, they, they, they burned me. I like how, like, bombs and enemies that cast fire are just on the opposite side of the ice wall. <laughs> yeah, it's like... Was the... this wall ever doing anything? Uh, no, they, they put in ice to try... They thought, oh yeah, ice is the opposite of fire, so we'll lock yeah. all these fire enemies so, in with ice. Yeah, they won't, they won't want to go near it, right? Yeah, it's cold. Because they hate ice. They hate yeah. the cold. Okay. It does sort of raise the question of... Oh, look, gently bobbing up and down. It's cute. It does sort of raise the question of... Who put the ice wall there? It does look deliberate, right? Like, that doesn't look naturally occurring. There's no other ice or even water around. Ooh, aim should... Arrows should be good against flying opponents, actually. It so should be. Give, give them an aim the next time you uh, come around to Rosa. Take 45 damage. Are these enemies just good against magic? I have no idea. Because our physical attacks seem to be wrecking house, but the spells seem to suck. You can see that Rosa got a, a pretty good hit there on the uh, on the flying foe. 
two doors. What do Actually, you do? Three doors doesn't have time for this. Nope. Other way was treasure then. That looks like progress. <laughs> time to backtrack. Yeah. <laughs> Just like a bravely default dungeon. One damage. Okay, now cast Cure on that guy. Pretty as uh, Rose's sprite does not look like a white wizard to me. She looks like Sela's actually. <laughs> yeah, quite a bit. Um, right down the green garment. Uh, the cape. The... Yeah, the cape. She's got pauldrons. Are they pauldrons or epaulets? We just don't know. It, yeah, it's kind of impossible to tell at the at that scale. Presumably on Celeste, they were epaulets because she was a general and you know military folk like their uh, learned life already, huh? Things. They just give you a raise right away. Yeah, yeah this... it's somewhat pricey from what I recall. Like 28 or 29 NPs. It, it, it often is. Eight. Nope, eight. I'm wrong. What the heck am I thinking of then? S. Oh, yes. S. They and a, a tent. They give you a tent for your S. Wow. Skeleton! <laughs> oh, look at him. So good. Another reason that this was, like, believably, a, for me anyway, as a kid, a direct sequel to uh, Final Fantasy 1 is that a lot of the sprites are just directly lifted from Final Fantasy 1 enemy sprites. Magic seems I'm pretty not sure great that, here. Yeah. Oh, our, our magic is kind of weak, unfortunately. More powerful magics! Yes. Hello, Abyss Hunted. Having a rather chill time learning about ice and fire. Which version of FF4 is this? It's the version that's square and has this kind of UI. Oh, yeah, we weren't even square on X Pack then, we were just square. Um, I, I also mean. The North American release, I think? 1991. <laughs> I also mean square in shape. <laughs> the, uh, the GBA port is uh, is rectangular. <laughs> it's a different aspect ratio. Yeah, we we are. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking of that. <laughs> uh, yep. Let's get some uh, golds. I like how there's an exclamation point whenever you open a chest. Like you're so excited to have gotten. Uh, yeah, another tier one potion or whatever. They know how much I love treasure. Oh, here's uh, the thing I'm gonna try. Ooh. This has to work, right? Do you want to know the answer? I mean, I mean I'm, I'm about to find out. Hey, got him! Yeah. I think the spirits, for whatever reason, are not undead. So. Nah, they're, they're, they're <laughs> elemental oh, spirits. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm not having Rosa shoot because these enemies suck, and there's a lot of them. And I'll save my arrows even though I don't need to. Almost all the work is being done by Cecil anyways. I will take your potion. That I will partake! An S. Not worried that we're gonna oh, I'm run fine. into a dangerous encounter and ask. I'm you fine with that S. Yeah, you, you, don't, you don't have to ask. All save points are now S points. Mm. Very sorry. Ooh, although, if you're good enough at the rhythm game of the game, you can get to triple S points. <laughs> okay, the cock... The cock trick! I will give a, uh... I will, I will give a, uh... An arrow. Yeah. Yeah. Or, uh... Poor thing that. The cock trick. Get him, cock trick! Pierce it! Oh God, Pierce please. the cock trick! 
the, the ROM hack to change save points into the cool S. I remember we were talking about that. I'm sorry, I haven't created it yet. Oh, oops. Bye, Cecil. Oh, it's, Just... it's up to you now, everyone else. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that thing in Final Fantasy V where uh, if you get an enemy alone, it starts doing dangerous shit? Is that in this game, too? Yeah, you just experienced it. <laughs> I'm still a rock. You you are a rock. Well, I'll have to use one of my heals. Yeah. You can use the heal potion to change people back from being turned to stone. Ah, uh, we really... I guess we found out what the cock trick was. It's, uh... It must <laughs> oh, be no. A... The cock trick is getting hardened. Uh... Uh... uh white! <laughs> That should be ten arrows, I think. Yeah, yeah, ten white arrows. Yeah, so there's bows and arrows, and your attack power depends on both. What's that? It must be a karate oh. fighter. Yes. A karate fighter who goes, achoo! He knows, karate man. He knows sneeze foo. Um, so... The original idea was for Yang here to um, sound like Bruce Lee. Like go, Which is yeah, Wacha yeah. or something. Yeah. Um, but Achoo. But somehow it became Achoo. <laughs> uh, he doesn't punch twice. He's not the best monk I've ever seen. That's because he's only equipped with one claw right now, unfortunately. Imp cap, period. You see this cap? Hmm, that's right. <laughs> Doesn't get experience for that, because that was a cutscene. Ah, well... But... Okay, ah. so one piece of advice for this boss fight, um, as soon as it actually becomes the boss fight... Mom bomb! Uh, actually, wait, no, you can definitely do this right away. Um, have Rosa cast slow on it. But this is kind of my advice for... Basically every boss for the rest of the game, most of them are weak to, not weak to, but like can be afflicted by slow, and it works very well and helps a lot. Let's <laughs> it try makes it. Most, it makes most of the bosses in this game into complete jokes. Is, is kick what I think it is? I should probably just punch if kick is what I think it is. I think it's exactly what you think it is. Um, so yeah, if the animation of slow happens, then it worked. Uh, which uh, which, now which can... spell should I cast? I don't know. I Fire. think I can toad him. I don't think you can toad him, but it would be funny. I don't think I... it's a bomb, so we'll see what this does. You told me to use oh, fire. Yeah, it should it should set it off, right? Like, sorry, it's used. How this does damage? Hmm. It's not much of a bomb. Now it's time this for enemy us. is also quite important to the speed run. Well, sort of. Oh, I know what we need to do. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Give him the give him the bird. Give him the chocobo. You know where the word chocobo comes from? I have no idea. It's the stupidest thing. There is a treat in Japan called a choco ball, and the mascot ooh. for it is a bird. That says queer. <laughs> <That's Yeah! awesome. laughs> and now Mom Bomb has obtained their true form. Uh, you might want to hit him with another slow just to just to be sure. Yeah, sure. I love casting slow. <laughs> yes. They stole. They just stole a mascot. Yeah, that's basically what they did. Granted, Chocobos don't look anything like the bird from Choku Ball, but. They stole the word and the name. Exploding! Exploding. I'm so excited about they, exploding. They completely got away with it. Give me the bird. You know what? Sure, you just do this. Yeah, we, we're looking at a little beat up. Yeah, it really doesn't need it at all. Really, it's just Edward and Yang, but... Mom Bomb is looking pretty turgid. Yeah, we're going with... <laughs> 
Listen, <laughs> Mom Bomb doesn't know anything about the cock trick. We don't need to have. <laughs> we don't need to invite trouble where it's not Ooh, where it yeah, doesn't live, I mean, Kaz. It's just a, it's just a couple fights away. Okay. Up. Ah. Became bomb and gray bomb. Indeed. Does the speedrun try um, to kill it before that happens? Well, what? It's uh, it's not exactly important for that reason. Um, so they do some memory freaking ah. and cause Duranus to use the mom bombs explode technique, <laughs> uh, which you know destroys the monster. And since it's not programmed to make the little bombs appear like this one is, uh, they just go away. So. Zero Mist just sort of uses explode and then leaves, um, and that's it. That's <laughs> that's the fight. You, you can hide it, but it's fine. Yeah, might they definitely stole Mind Flayer too? Can I all cast the slow? I can. It's really a pretty good spell. I really need to. Let's top off Yang. Yeah, there you go. So I think at one point, one of Yang's kicks might have been good. Yeah, I, when, when there were all of them, I definitely should have done Yang. Yeah. But I just, I was talking about Choco Ball. <laughs> mm. Choco Ball. Yeah, let's have Cecil chop this one. You're almost out of it. Okay. Are they gonna reform into mom bomb? No, they're not. Okay, good. Mm, five, five, five. Yang kind of has some jacked chest hair going on. <laughs> I like how his tiny square sprite looks like he's he's wide as fuck. Like, look at this. <laughs> He just thicks them. He <laughs> takes up an entire door frame. <laughs> it's my turn to play on Xbox. Uh, Golbez is trying is using Baron to get crystals. Baron yeah. is such is a bad name for a place. It should be like Barony. Yeah, we we take what we can get. There are worse place names in this video game, also I think. Yep. He's got a. He was. He was off training when they were attacked. Now let's go try and fail to save the next crystal. It's not only your problem, it's also ours. I had to defeat her mother by killing her. <laughs> Go over the mountain. Karate Man Yang! Slyo, I don't remember Baron. Do you mean Bannon? Or was he Baron in some translations or something? I Yang. So, if you want, uh, yes, Karate Man. I can give him a leather. That was, that was Tella's hat, I think. Yeah. <laughs> this is what you, this is what we stripped you for, uh, um, do we have any? Do we have any arms for him? We don't have any arms. What would happen okay. if I took his fire claw away? I think he might actually go up in attack power. It stayed yeah. the same. <laughs> okay. But now he can double he's, attack. He's with right and left. Yeah. Um, Yang is one of the one of the game's two ambidextrous characters. Yeah, right, left, both arms. He is trained. He also like look at this guy's portrait. Like, he's giving you the side eye. Like, Cecil is staring at the camera, Rydia is happy about her own name, Edward does not want to be here, Rosa is looking toward the future, and Yang is, like, suspicious of, of you. You've, you've got like... some discordant art styles here, because, like, <laughs> Edward looks like he's from another game, Rydia looks like he's yeah. from another game, like she's from another game, uh, Rosa looks like she's from the Rosa Versai. <laughs> she looks like Oscar. Favorite. Rosa looks like 1970s anime. That's what the Rosa like, Versailles is. Rosa Versailles oh. is a very famous what? shoujo series about a, a woman who pretends to be a man. 
and everybody loves her. You know that I don't actually know anything about anime. We've been over this. Well, I'm I'm taking it upon <laughs> myself to educate you about it's good. It's good. about the Rose of Versailles. It's it's French. No, I, I think there's no French anime. That's not a thing. Now, there are there um, is French anime, and it's called French anime. But uh... <laughs> wait, 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 no, 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 no. I know where French anime comes from. Yep. Um, there's like in every David Cage game, some characters. Yes, David Cage loves him. it. <laughs> yeah. And he always puts some, like, loop on the television of a child where you can just watch this, like, 15-second loop or whatever of, like, animations happening. Well, we'll, be, well we found up oh, these in Game Pipe. Yeah, away you go. <laughs> so I guess we're not done with that boss fight, actually. We just, we have to keep fighting bombs. Why are there bombs on this mountain? Who knows? So the bombs are in love. Jens is the only person I know who will get that joke. So that was just a joke for him. That's for you, Jens. Now you can, you can stay at her. I don't, I don't want this one to, to pass us by either. Uh, Chapitou points out that fr fans of French anime are weeaboos. <laughs> That's how I know you have children. <laughs> Are these grenades? They might not have been a grenade yet. Oh, hey, I... You give students... You got Somebody's got to pay students, right? To make their bad animation? Now, why not David Cage? The best things to come out of his game is he pays students. Does he pay them, though? Uh, maybe he doesn't. You're probably right. I think... Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm making horrific assumptions that David Cage might be paying <laughs> some students. I'm, I'm squarely on the, just to clear things up, I'm squarely on the side of uh, paying people for work, even if they are students, even especially if they're students, so... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, we got more gargoyles up here. I forgot to feel Edward, but uh, I didn't get it. Probably... I want to I form a kind of uh, cynic dookie in everyone's head between the terms cheap labor and slavery. Because basically what all cheap labor is just you know what, Yang I'm gonna talk about Yang for a second here. I might curse you with this knowledge. Are you ready for it? Sure. He's got a Charlie Brown twiddle for chest hair. Nope. That's the deject symbol. <laughs> Unless you mean Charlie yeah. Brown is ject. I which mean... He probably is, because fucking everyone is jacked, man. I don't fucking know. Who doesn't like jacked? I'm the best. We're out of your league. <laughs> Turtle. <laughs> Turtle! Okay, if Ice Rod isn't good against Turtle, I don't know what, what's real. Okay. Ice Rod was good against Turtle. That's Finally. Decent, right? Yeah. Give him the kick. I'm glad to hear that Pop Team Epic uh, paid an animator. <laughs> All right. Yeah. They had they had one one person in the studio was a was a French animator who was just working in Japan. He didn't actually speak Japanese though. So. uh... They just gave him the comics and said animate this when he couldn't read them. <laughs> so nice. He got to a. Uh, they spent budget on him, just uh, imagining what he thought these comic strips meant. Man, I heard that Pop Team Epic when it got uh, ported to Netflix or something, they just like didn't. Do the other half of it. Yeah, they didn't do the other half of it. Where, which there's like there's different gags. No, they're the same. It's but most it's mostly the same. They didn't really lose out on much, but oh man, Ice Rod sucked against Imp Cap and Dealer. Well, give him the kick. We're, we're talking about group casting rank one magics. Oh, they added the they added it later. Okay. I'm glad that they did later add it, because, like, 
cutting out half of a show, even if as a joke it's a repeat with different like interpretations, gag imaginings, whatever, that's like you're still just deleting half of it. Like... Yeah, the kick. Okay. I'm trying to think of a name. Is it Maurice Richard? Um, shoot. It might be Maurice. Hold on. I'm actually going to look that up. I await your findings. Nope, that's the hockey player. Shit. Was not trying to think of Bernie's retrying. Um. Okay. I have to educate myself again, because I have forgotten knowledge. Were you trying to remember Poirot? I was not trying to remember Poirot. Uh, were um, you trying to remember Inspector oh, Clouseau? No. Oh, was this is embarrassing. I was trying to remember Marcel Duchamp. Ah, oh, I remembered oh, yeah. Maurice Richard instead, <laughs> yeah. which is profoundly embarrassing, <laughs> and I deserve every bit of, like, laughter at my expense. That is a... <laughs> they, these two men have absolutely nothing in common. They have, the they have French names. Throughout <laughs> history have actually zero in common. They're the only two. <laughs> How did that happen? And I somehow screwed them up. I mean, you're talking to me, and I don't even remember names half the time. So you oh, remember okay. you, you remember two know. names, which is more than you I have. My do. name, which is flattering, and I'm gonna cling on to that for <laughs> a while. Okay. Look, part of my job as being a colossal weirdo is making all of my relationships crumble as slowly as possible. This one is uh, this is uh, it's a decently uh you know, win against the rocks sort of pace. Give it another thousand years, it might erode. I uh, mean, our, our half-life. <laughs> it's half-life of our... I'm eating a tent. Because I'm out of MP. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I sleep mean, in that. Well, okay. Well, sure listen. Okay. Why would you... Why would you have more than one if, you, if using it wasn't somehow destroying it? And the only way I can think is that you're eating it. Look, I think they crap in the tent, okay? I think that makes more sense than eating it. <laughs> I mean... And does you it? Don't, wanna... don't shit where you eat. <laughs> I think it makes more sense than eating it, then. That's, <laughs> that's why having studio apartments sucks. You have no choice but to shit where you eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, my combination kitchen, bathroom, go and swell. Kitchen, bathroom, bedroom. Your toilet's just in. You've got a. Your toilet underneath oh, your bed as it folds out. <laughs> Wait, the toilet folds out? How does no, the bed out? does. It's a. It's a. It's, oh. a, it's a squatty potty. You gotta squat. Man, I wonder if places okay, actually I'm... do that. You could fit that Look, relatively easily. I am totally down for squatty potties because it means I don't pay rent. Wait, why wouldn't you rent your. You're, you're squatting. Oh, okay. I guess that, that's yeah. the joke you... I understand the joke. the joke now. Yes, this is the joke. Because it's, it's like a, a squat toilet is also <laughs> well, just a thing. I Well, I know. Because I've played The Sims 3. <laughs> um, so, uh, I love this encounter in particular. I mean, for one, we're seeing encounters that have like six enemies in them. Yeah, plus we're fighting the imps. Um, another one? Uh, I like that we're... <laughs> We have four captains and two regular imps. Like, <laughs> really, come on. Overmanaged. Do we, do we need this many managers? <laughs> really? <laughs> right, oh, we hit the imp cap. Too many imps. Ooh, imp cap. We're, we're at imp max. That's like 32,000 imps. That's, that's all I ever wanted out of life was to hit imp max. Ugh. <laughs> The joke gets funnier because later we fight an imp who is floating. Mm. So that's that's imp float, which is not a thing. But... Hey, it's Krillin. And Krillin. Yes. 
So I'm in Krillin. Back when I first, yeah, back when I first played this game, when I first got here, um, and you know it was on a television, so everything's like a little blurred, right? And you kind of got scan lines and stuff. Uh, these guys' heads look like helmets. Like it's impossible to tell that they were Buddhist monks and had the little like head dots thing. Um, but also, I had not watched Shaolin versus Lama at that time. Ooh, should I buy? Um, you should buy Black 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 and at least one of Ice Claw, Fire Claw, Thunder Claw. I'm sorry, Ice Claw, Fire Claw, or Thunders. Thunder with the Claw logo next to it. <laughs> okay, Yang. This is before Optimize, so I'm just going to have to kid you out myself. Give me both. Oh, thanks for the leather, Tella. Oh, wait. You can't wear black. No, that's for Cecil. Mm, darkness. Oh, yeah. Having purchased better equipment for Cecil, we should probably sell all of the equipment that we're yeah, not using. That's, that was my plan. Let's see how much money I made from stripping my friends. I want to sell... Start yeah, Shadow Sword is useless in this darkness. It's, that's pretty good prices for these. Man, I've been playing Bravely Default, where everything costs like a million dollars and sells for nothing. It feels like shit. That's definitely a Bravely Default thing. I'll keep staff. Well, should I keep staff? It does. Does it do anything? I don't think it does. Rod does something. No, nope, you should sell it. Right. Like we are, we are going to be inventory crunched at some point. And I know how much you like treasure. I do. I do love treasure. Now There's one other part of the item menu that I want to bring to your attention in case it ever comes up. Yeah. So go all the way to the bottom. There's the a trash bin. and yeah. a sort. Yes. They put sort down here. Yes, but also sort and the rubbish bin uh, can be repositioned like the rest of you. <laughs> <laughs> so if, you want, if you want sort to be at the top, you can move it to the top, but then as soon as you sort, it's going to go back to its original position. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, can I throw away sort? You can try it. Let's try it. Like, let's say first, just in case this causes, like, memory hacks. No, it, it's not going to. They, it doesn't work. Uh -huh. It's just funny. <laughs> um, you're right to assume that, um, hmm, that there's memory hacks available with inventory antics. Inventory is often where it happens. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> mm. Should we... Look how much ethers cost, man. Yeah, that's why we will never purchase them. Thankfully, the Psych spell costs zero MP, and is great, and everyone who needs it has it. Sir Yang! Is Yang a knight? Actually, it's it's Cecil, you see. I am, I am a Dark Knight of Baron. Formerly of Baron. I have. I trade my king. Yang. The Yang. Baronian! <laughs> the Baronian Kingdom! This is, this is vanilla FFF4. Actually, it's Final Fantasy 2. That's right. I didn't what call it said it. on the cartridge. It, it, it does say Final Fantasy 4 on the stream, though. This one called Golbez is behind the attempt. Really? He'll later be in a game five games from now. The defense with a C of the castle must be tightened immediately. <laughs> must be tightened immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Can I really trust you? Mm, they came to my defense when I was attacked. This, this game has a well, you, you, on again, off again, 
the word defense. You have to think, probably one person managed the translation, right? Probably. I think, I think it was, like, two people. Mm. Like, one person who was pressed for time and had, like, a basic understanding of English, and then a native English speaker who was called in to, like, pretty up some of the more important students. I was expecting, like, one American with a memory editor. Go, here's the ROM. <laughs> Like, <laughs> That's kind of literally what happened with, um, jeez. Final Fantasy Final Eight, Eight. Six, um, uh, Secret of Mana. Eight, what it was else? pretty famous that Prime it was trigger. localized through, uh, they used a Game Shark to help oh localize uh, Final Fantasy Eight. <laughs> mm. Basically, anything Ted Woolsey did. And, you know, I, I love Wolseyisms to death. But, uh, apparently, and this is all, this also comes from, I guess, secondhand knowledge at this point, this same person who was talking to me when I was playing Bravely Default, uh, worked with Ted Wolsey, and he was the worst person to work with, apparently. <laughs> and he was kind of a lunatic. I, I believe it. Should I say no here? I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. Well, do you want to help them defend the crystal? Oh, okay, yeah, bye. That's it. Yeah, this is a, this is a butt out bus. It, it's basically a point of no return kind of thing. So what they're saying is... Yes, we have... <laughs> they immediately forget that we had this conversation also. <laughs> they are all outstanding combatants. <laughs> yes. Even, even <laughs> Edward! <laughs> the popish prince... He has no combat skills and a literal child. I want to press that switch, but the game's not letting me. No, it isn't. I'm very sorry about that. Uh, you will be able to press that switch at some point, I promise. Yeah. So, toxic masculinity has the men folk go to the front and leave Rosa and Rydia behind, which actually might be a tactically appropriate thing, given that Rydia is a child and Rosa is a medic. And, ah, we gotta fight. You know, Fight the general. General charge. Pretty good. More like a general nuisance. <laughs> Fell asleep. Nope. Not for long. I shall wake you <laughs> with my blade. Ah, I got the I got the punch punch. So your rows are a thing, and enemy rows are also a thing. Yeah, I figured that's why I was doing bad damage. I want to attack back row general, though, in case he is a coward. Trying to get the most I can kill, I can kill one of, of them. How about that? Yeah. Yeah, they're also just taking 30. Wow, this is... almost like they're tough. What the heck? Yeah, we don't have Dark Wave. I'm very sorry. Ah. My kick meant that I killed a guy. Ah, why? I'll have to fight some imps to make up the experience yeah. loss. He's, yep, yeah, he's gonna go treat himself again. How often are enemy rooms actually a thing? Well, in Final Fantasy, kind of a lot. Um, I think they were a thing in one. I can't really remember. And that game is kind of a it's a miracle that Final Fantasy 1 even works. <laughs> well... <laughs> Much of it doesn't. Yeah, hopeless because we didn't anticipate that the airship having army would bombard us from where we cannot reach them. So why you need anti-air artillery? I, I told you, the cause of war is not yours alone. Why aren't we throwing rocks at the airship? We are powerful monks, we can throw rocks that high. I mean, maybe that's happening elsewhere, we're kind of like... We have a very, like, zoomed-in view of this, we've right? Already, yeah, we've we're already... Trenches. We've retreated to the Bailey already. Okay, that guy must have been weak to lightning. Oh, oh, how often is enemy or a thing in this game? It always is. In in this game. Like, enemies are either in the front row or not in the front row. And that depends on their formation. And like which enemies are still alive. That that's all. Sorry, I, I launched into like Oh they killed Krillin! Yeah. <laughs> and Krillin! 
Gotta... It's cute. I like this sequence. It's neat. You're defending the castle and, like, making them pay for every inch. Smash them! Smash them! And you get to hear Yang say things like, smash them. It's nice. Okay, we'll kill one of the fighters. Yeah, 4 does have a lot of mechanics that are kind of invisible to the player. So, you know, good luck figuring all that shit out. Like, you know how nowadays status effects have a little icon next to them or some kind of visual understanding of what they are? Yeah, that barely happens in this game. Yeah. It doesn't happen at all with enemies, because that would be, like, too hard. It's kind of lame that the, uh, the women aren't allowed to fight, too. Well, it was, it was the 90s. But before the part of the 90s where everyone said, It's the 90s, come on! Which wasn't, like, later in the 90s. Yeah. It was not yet the part of the 90s where we had solved both racism and sexism. Yes. Um, and then we later unsolved it. Yeah, we, had, we neither, neither of those are true per se, but the '90s had a whole lot of like actually kind of cool PC culture stuff. Like any given film from the '90s has a blind character in it. They have a blind character, and there's a scene where two women fight at some point, and one of the other one of the women defeats the other woman in the fight, and then calls the other woman a bitch. Thank and you for. Activating me, you have said the magic words that get me to talk about Lady Bloodsport for three hours. <laughs> you want to talk about Lady Bloodsport? You know, why not? <laughs> okay. Like, kill this it's, gargoyle? It's, it's a film. Um, I love film. Yeah. I actually do. I, I watched it because of, the, because of the title, because it was called Lady Bloodsport. Is that a, uh, is that a Cynthia Rothrock movie? I, I don't know who that is, and uh, I can't remember literally anyone from that movie. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> the, uh, if the if the if the lead of the movie is like a redheaded woman who does kung fu, it then... might be Lady Blood Fight instead of Lady Blood Sport. I was thinking of a better movie, which is called Blood Sport. Ah, uh, Blood Sport. A that's great. uh, that's Jean Claude Van Damme, is. who is not French. He's Belgian. He's Belgian. Thank you for that. Which is just a, there. just a Frenchman who likes sauerkraut. Actually, they speak better French than France does in Belgium, because they got rid of the whole, like, uh, what do you call it? The prescriptivism? They don't have an yeah, academy? No, no, no. The, the, the division by 20s. Um, ah, you, you lost me. Like, deca something. Go decahedrons? It, 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 whatever. They, they have, like, a numbering system in French. Oh, is, no! Yeah, yeah, the, the quattronumeral system, who knows. Oh, quattropagina, yes. What? <laughs> Quattro, quattropagina. That's, uh, <laughs> that's an alias of Char Astaboy in the Gundam Zeta. He oh, calls himself okay. quattropagina. <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> it's, a, um... it's a name he chooses for himself. <laughs> My goodness. Um, Gundam Zeta is really good. The thing is that in, like, France French... Oh, I just had Edward attack, you, attack Cecil. <laughs> it might put him to sleep, that would be kind of bad. Um, yeah, there's... If you get numbers that are too high, they start counting by 20s. Mm. How many 20s a number contains. So, like, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, all fine. Uh, 80 is 420. 90 is 420s and 10. Because they just forgot at some point. Like, I don't know. People didn't have to count that high back then or something, I guess. But in Belgian French, they invented new words for 80 and 90. And basically brought language more in line with how people use numbers, which is great. And that's that's why I stand Belgian French, I guess. Well, I do it because I like Poirot. <laughs> he's just, he's... What? His, his writer was English. So? 
I still like Poirot, and Poirot is Belgian! <laughs> is that not enough for me to stand a, a, a language? It is tough. Fine. It's Kane! <gasps> That's right. Yeah, fight with us. But against you, Cecil. Kane? Single combat. Out they refilled my health. That's polite of them. He's Dragoon! I think... If you, oh, like, it. super grind Cecil to, like, absurd levels, you can survive for a while, but it does end after three jumps, I think. Ah, parried! Nice. Oh, I'm dead. I can't survive. If I had parried all three, I might have been able to survive. Well, they didn't even let me activate that last one. Yeah, I kind of wonder how much of that is cutscene and how much is mechanics. Let's all gang up and knock Kane down. Kane, why you? Don't look at me. Why so upset, Kane? You, you gave him, you gave Golbez your your Alucard voice. Yeah. And you are glad to see you. <laughs> and take my greeting. Ah! <laughs> Lightning bolt. Excuse me, you put this PlayStation black disc hmm. into your CD player. So, I'm, I'm afraid I have failed you. Now, why is that? We're gonna lose a character here. Ah, uh, that's yeah. fine. I was supposed to tell you, but Rosa doesn't have, like, good equipment, so... Yeah, she has, she's going to steal my ice rod. I can't believe you've done this, Kaz! Not even the ice rod. She had the uh, short bow and iron arrows. Oh, uh, Rosa. I haven't seen uh, iron arrows. She had my iron arrows. And my leather. I, I like that he, like, that Golbez just covers her sprite up. <laughs> That's a kidnapping. That's how you do it. That's how they did it back in the day. Uh, casting cure. Very reasonable to do. They're actually doing it in a cutscene, and it worked. That's a first. It did. It's, it's cool. Rosa was taken. Farewell, human. We'll this not meet so again. This is so awesome. We have Rydia here, again, a literal child, who <laughs> has to, like, get three adult men to, like, get into shape. Like, stop sulking. You're adults. <laughs> Oh, the cape. That's how he did it. Okay. Heal the uh, wound. And let us think about how to rescue Rosa. Oh, yeah. Maria could summon birds. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I got people thinking about uh, Castlevania again. Rondo blood. That's what that one is. That's where Maria summons birds. Mm. Rondo's a good game. Pot. Yes. Excellent. You can step on the little switch now, too. I demand to touch the switch. Ta-da. Look at that little thing. Ah. I want to clip <laughs> out of bounds. Yeah. Into the darkness. I, I love how there's, there's so many times in this game where you just, like, you go into darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Got the black. Oh yeah, he grabbed her by the position where if you grab a woman in media, she, oh, is, right. she is disabled. You like grab her elbow from behind, right? Yeah, the the bottom yeah. the bottom of the upper arm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's like a Vulcan nerve, uh, Vulcan nerve yeah. pinch. The, the movie make magic. <laughs> That's how you capture a woman. Uh, he's resting <laughs> in his bedroom. 
Don't know where that is. Well, we have the, the full run of the castle now. Rondo is good. He shouldn't play Draculax. Really the only old Castlevanias I personally recommend are Rondo and Castlevania 3. <laughs> Uh, I like Castlevania 3 a lot. Uh, I tolerate Castlevania 1. I just think 3 is the better version. Yeah, so he's the better version. Um, uh, Castlevania 2 is something that I enjoy, <laughs> but I know that most people don't. Castlevania so 2 kinda... is for a special kind of person. Yeah. A person, um, who, a person who... Okay, Castlevania 2 is like... I know you know what it is. A, the dog toy called a Kong. I know you've had used those before. <laughs> Uh, if you... Castlevania 2 is one of those. Where the I, fun is I inside and you have to chew on are, it to get it out. There, no, no, no. There, there are two reasons to play Castlevania 2. Yeah. One is that you enjoy that kind of thing, which means you're like me. Um, and two is because you want to see the like ancient DNA of what Castlevania ultimately became. The, the like, sea power is relatively open. weak. <laughs> yeah, Castlevania yeah. 2 was kind of like a wide adventure game, which it, was unique at the time. It was the, the granddaddy of all of the, like, level up, um, open map, backtrack. Did Fazanadu kind of exist, at the, exist at the time? Exist. Did Fazanadu exist, exist at the time? Yeah, they were more or less contemporaneous. Yeah, because it didn't. That's another game you should play if you want to chew on it to oh get the fun God. out. <laughs> and for the phrase, I've touched poison. <laughs> Remember your mantra, and then the mantras you're saying. Uh, <laughs> and how people like constantly blinked. Yes. They're like blink, 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 blink. They had like a 30 hertz blink. It's oh, it was nuts. I don't think anyone should play Faxanadu or Fazanadu or whatever, however the hell you pronounce it. But I think that you should watch a let's play of it. <laughs> we got a, we got the Black Sword. We did. It's the best. Kudo Ken, as it is called in Nippon. So Black Sword has a special feature that is going to make you like it. Is it spend blood to attack? I love that. Um, it has an instant death proc that has near 100% like, it's a, rate. It's, it's a Dumax? Yes. Look at him go! Achoo! It's a Dumax without the cool skull popping out. Um, oh, the limitations of the time. for the most part, the enemies that you're going to face... Um, have, like, so little HP that they die before the Doom effect happens. Uh, or they are undead and it can't work on them. Okay, does it resurrect them if they are undead? Nope. Okay, good. That's yeah. the problem of the Doom Axe. Right. Um, uh, he's contemplating. That's why he's in bed. Uh, um, well, you, have, you enjoy your private time. You, you can walk into the bottom. Like, you can walk, like, one square down, I think. No, okay. Maybe not. Weird. You walk out here. for sure that... Yeah. Sorry, I thought you could get the other pot, but I might have been thinking of a different thing. But yeah. It's like, it's like being a yeah, sailor on a ship, a, though. You have to pretend cool. that there are walls. Even though there are not. Mm hmm. Left tower. Found a, a potion. I kind of hate pots in video games, because in Pokemon Red and Blue, there is one trash can in the game that has a great ball in it. Mm. So, using that one... Finding that one great ball will get you to check every other trash can in not only that game, but every other game you ever play. Mm. For that one so great would, ball like on the give, SSN. Once again, I would like to give the uh, give the game credit here. That little white mage uh, talked about Rosa. Yeah. I'd love to be able to use white magic as well as Rosa in 
indicating that Rosa has like a bigger spell list or more MP than that one or something. Well, Rosa um, can already also, cast Raise. Yeah, it's subtly pointing out that Rosa saw at magic. Rosa in action, Ooh. right? Like that's what was happening while you were all fighting. Rosa saved Naming Way's life. That's the <laughs> canon. Yeah, you can use Naming Way to rename other characters if you want. Let's do it. Let's see. Let's okay. see what my name woman is. Who, who is, like, desperately in need of a rename? It's gonna be Yang. Okay. Ah, got it. Yeah. <laughs> there I, we go. Yeah. Perfect. I'm the best. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna step away for for a hot minute. Like I, well, I, I I heated Kaz up too much by by introducing another Jack. <laughs> yeah, Sir Jack. He did get called Sir Jack by uh. By, uh, by at least Yuna, I'm pretty sure. Uh, now we, we attack the sea power with this boat. Yeah, but Orn did it because he was a shitter. Oh no, Jack's wife! No! <laughs> Worst Titus! <laughs> Jack's wife! <laughs> having, having fun with Jack's wife? <laughs> yeah, that means Titus to wrap up. Man, she's lucky she found Jack, right? Because who else was she going to marry? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's, it's, it's one of those aspirational things. Or, you know, parents naming their, their child Doctor or whatever. <laughs> yeah, Jekt did go missing at sea. Or at least uh, Xanarkand was a port town. And I think you might have fallen. They lived on a boat. <laughs> they lived on Jekt and Titus yeah. lived on a houseboat. Uh, it's kind of foreshadowing. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm afraid I've failed you again. Uh, at this point, I've gotten over it. It was, tw yeah. it was like almost... 20 years ago that it burned my ass. <laughs> so who are we losing this time? Is it Jack? Oh, everybody. Oh, everybody? Yeah. Well, if it's everybody, then of course I'm not going to strip them. Jack went out to see Trina. Uh, how Jack went missing though isn't really that important. All that matters is that he readily abandoned his son and wife. Because he did not care about them. I, I really blanked on this being like quite this immediate. <laughs> this game does not waste time. It, My God. Well, yeah, but we must attack the sea power. Ah, Sid, the master engineer. How many mm. games have had Sid in them? Oh fuck. It's probably easier to list the ones that don't have Sid. Yeah, ga games that do not have a Sid. Yeah, it's like two. Two did not. Have it. FF1 didn't have characters that. Yeah, three them. definitely had Sid. So he might have been the first Sid. Oh, two started it. Okay. I'm the wrong person to ask. One got retcon to have a Sid. Ugh. Okay. We must attack their sea power. That's right. Yeah, they, they can't keep up with our ship um, because it's on the sea. Even though they have airplanes, don't think about it. Well, if they're if they're airships like what an actual airship is, they are pretty slow. Oh no! Wiggle, 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 wiggle. What was the worm guy called? The octo worm or whatever? Octo Sailors! Man. It can't be. Is that true? It's the master of the master seas. Master of the seas. Ah, Leviathan! Um... No, 
Oh, it's, it's Leviathan. Yeah. Le Leviathan, yeah. Yeah, the ships only have uh, resistance on the draft, whereas, yeah, airships have the entire balloon to cause drag. I love this part, too. Like, the captain says stop it, and they, like, hang there a minute, but then they all go back to panicking. <laughs> oh, no! Jack, jump in after her! You're a blitzballer! Go! Hmm? <laughs> Being able to play Blitzball means you can hold your breath forever, so... And then Edward yeah, is false to despair. Skill that you can just train up in the world of Final Fantasy is 10 and 10 2. I don't know if anybody in 10 2 can hold their breath forever, because I don't think any of them play Blitzball. No, Riku can, because Riku doesn't play Blitzball, but she can hold her breath forever. She can definitely hold her breath forever. But she can only do it because she's a teenager. Uh, um... Oh, I'm on this desert island. Now well, time to cast away all of my goals and fortunes and to live a simple life. So this is Cecil at his lowest point. Rose has been kidnapped. Jacked. All of his friends are gone. He has nothing and no one. It seems like all is lost. Time to boil seawater in your helmet. Yeah, and what's worse, here's where he got stranded. Oh no! Well, it's later. Fine. You can beat them all. <laughs> oh. Uh, I ran away because I saw a, a zoo. Well, let's fight one, because I... Yeah. I have the black sword. You do have the black sword. I oh, know. It's fine. No, it's Tiny them. Mage. The black sword isn't very black. It looks red. That's that's the killing stroke. It's red from the killing. Wow. Well, maybe it's Levitane instead. Because somebody said that in the chat. You know, I forgot Levitane's actual name origin. I think I looked it up for you at some point. Uh, you did. I'm probably gonna have you do that again. I'm fairly certain it's fairly obscure. So yeah, but basically no enemy around here can touch you because you're too good at killing. I do love killing. Or sorry, I love knocking down. Mmm, that's right. We can't have actual killing. Which is another reason why the next time you fight a zoo, you should definitely actually fight it. It's great. Uh, so yeah, you got shipwrecked uh, in Mycidia. And... <laughs> The Serpent Road was named because it's... Oh no, it's the 100 million mile snake way! Yeah, it used to be called the Devil's Path or something. And they changed it to Serpent Road. But... Uh, if you talk to that Black Mage again, he will cast Toad on you again. Which, which will reverse so the... It'll, it'll undo it. <laughs> I thought these mages sucked. Are oh, you talking about Chocobo? Yeah. You get off the chocobo if you are on one. If these mages sucked, what? Well, no, it's the mages that were. My city and mages were good. It was the barony. Yeah. Mages that sucked. Yeah, the mages and baron weren't up to snuff. As the spell toad is pretty high level for how bad it is. Ah, the if triple in. Huh? If you somehow had multiple party members at this stage, uh, he would cast Toad on everyone in the party. This is actually kind of a cute bit of foreshadowing for much later in the game. Try to remember the soundtrack. I've I've definitely heard this song before. Because it's a famous Final Fantasy track. Uh, here's a here's a status effect that's basically only in this game. Pig. Pig is pig. Uh, silence with the numbers filed off, and you turn into a pig. You turn into a pig. <laughs> you could actually be fine as Pig Cecil, yeah. honestly. Pig. I'm 
I'm glad you're having, having so much fun exploring my city. <laughs> I'm just I'm just walking around. Yes, interesting. Does Fire Rod cast Fire or Fire Two? Cast Fire One, I'm afraid. And then I don't care. Ooh, guy, well, wonder hmm. what this means. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> we're going to get a, a new pal. Yeah, we're, we're going to find a new party member who's a paladin. Yeah. Ah, this is a training room again. <laughs> Whose clothes are these? Oh, oh, it's like it's like in Dark Souls 3 where you have to buy Zingmeyer's clothes. Back from, uh... Back from Patches to throw them down the well. Oh, you can talk to her again, and she'll do it again. She just keeps jumping. If you could no-clip and talk to her a third time, she would still keep jumping. Out of my way, white mage. No, you confound yeah, that's me. What you said when you came here as a conqueror and stole their crystal. Yes, that's exactly what I did. But now <laughs> I'm a pig, and pigs have no mercy. Yeah. So, no lie, I loved how black mages looked. In Final Fantasy One and Final Fantasy Four, here they just—it was, it was so cool. The, black, the only bad thing about the oldest Black Mage is that you don't see the stripy pants. Mm. But I love the hat and the. the, 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 uh, the I don't know how I feel about the clown pants. I love. Wait, the what am pants. I saying? Obviously, I love the clown pants. Yeah, Let me think about that for more than one second. I'm fighting. I'm fighting, yes, I'm fighting the one called Gulbez, who is the mastermind of Baron. It would be your trial. But as long as you depend upon the Dark Sword, you can never defeat true evils. Hmm. Go to Mount Ordeals. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we have to go to Mount Ordeals. That probably had a symbolic name in Japanese. I, I actually don't know. Gain the Sword of Sacredness. Okay, so this was also an era in the lifetime of the Nintendo where uh, you couldn't call things, like, divine directly. Yeah. Like, even the use of the word holy light here is kind of, like, questionable. They could only do so many of those. It's weird that paladin became, like, the word for holy night when it's just, like, a French word that referred to a specific order of knights for Ith. I think one of the King Louis. Yeah, there's a million kings. Blame for that. Is, um, is it D and D again? Probably D and D. Probably D and D, right? Like D and D third edition definitely had paladins. Uh, take the wizards with you. Yep, palimporum. Charlemagne. That sounds about right. I'm a pig. Yep. I'm corn. Oh man, I, I should. I would rename myself Corn Fed if I could. You remember that show? Shit, what was that called? Duck Man. Duck Man. Yes. It was yeah. Corn Fed the pig. That's right. It's a duck Man starring Jason Alexander yeah, as Jason, himself. As Jason, duck man. Jason Alexander as himself as Duck Man. Uh, with a two-headed son. Wizardry. If it, if it wasn't D and D, then well, everything from Wizardry is from D and D, so that doesn't make any sense. A Paladin character class was first introduced in 1975 for Dungeons and for Sand Dragons in Supplement One Greyhawk. Uh, it definitely sounds like right. a Greyhawk thing. They, uh, so there you have it. You can you can blame Gary Gygax, although you shouldn't. Oh, man, <laughs> so. The joke with Palom and Po and po Ram is it's basically just Po Ram and Param. I always thought they were supposed to be like the inventors of music, right? Huh? Well, I mean the march at least, because you got your Palum, 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 oh, palum, 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 palum. pickle pea and pump a rum, indeed. 
Who could be Pickle P and Pumper Rum? We can rename them. Like, you can change their names into a different joke. It's great. I could. The Many Sins of D&D would be a great podcast. It probably already exists. Pelham is... <laughs> different. They I, look like they're from different this. games. None of, the, none of these match. Forum. So yeah, um, Pelham is our other left-handed character. Uh, so as to be the, the you know, complement of Porum, the like sine cosine kind of thing. Cast Pelham is peep. The, you know, quirky, cocksure. Uh, he's skeptical of his own MP value, it looks like. And um, I would be too. <laughs> okay. So they have, uh, you can buy equipment for them in the shop if you want. Uh, the big winner probably would have been, like, unequipping ice rod from yeah. Lydia, but that doesn't matter that much. Yeah, I'm just gonna buy a flame rod. Cheap. Um, there's one reason that'll happen a little later on that I don't want you to buy a cure staff. Uh, even though you probably should, but don't. Well, yeah, I, I said I would follow your instructions, so I will not. Yeah, this is like any. No one in the chat knows what the hell I'm on about, and that's fine because no one on the internet knows what I know. Yeah. Get him, pig. pig. Get yeah, him pig. pig. Go ahead and use the twin command when it comes up. Twin. Because it's great. So when you use the twin command, Palom and Forum both start casting. It takes both their turns. Uh, pig is his silence, except it's he turns into silence, a pig. But you also like look like a pig. That's it. And I cast flare. How much MP does yeah. that cost? Twenty from both of them, I think. That's pretty substantial, but I've got. It, I is, can, it is substantial, but it's a lot of damage too. Ten. Oh, ten. So twenty in oh, total. Twenty total. Okay. That's fine, we can just eat a tent later. Pigs can eat tents. Uh, Raven! Ooh, this is great, fight it. Check this out. Swoon! Swoon. And then it's gone. Pig! So, if you could somehow equip a character with this sword like late into the game, it would be one of the most powerful things in the entire fucking game. It's because of the Doom proc? Yeah, and by Doom proc, I, I literally mean any enemy that it can affect, it will. <laughs> it's the Dark it's, Sword of Chaos. It's just... My god. <laughs> give me this move. Who cares? I want this in Final Fantasy V. Give me that. Doom Axe. We're going to be farming Doom Axes soon. Piggy. Learn Piggy. I don't know, lots of stuff. Yeah, so you have one black mage, one white mage. They're actually pretty good. As far as, like, magicians go. Yeah, they're, they're doing a lot of magicianry. As they watch me slice with my Chaosium sword. You're not a Ninja Gaiden fan, are you? I remember you not liking it. Okay. Ninja Gaiden. I have kind of, like, mixed feelings about Ninja Gaiden. I think, I think about Ninja Gaiden 2 a lot. I kind of like Ninja Gaiden 1, I guess? I don't know. It's basically Castlevania, right? It's a lot so in common. Uh, the one thing it has that is not good is it's, one, it's, it's an old NES game that loves to knock you into pits. They all love that. Yeah. And it, they do it, so it has, by it, birds. I thought, well, the one point that it has over other um, NES games of that kind is that you can, like, grab onto, onto the side of You could grab ledges, yes. Um, yeah. You can give suggestions, but I'm just following what Kaz says, because he's the super yeah, expert. And I would say don't, because I'm giving him all the suggestions, so it's just going to be obnoxious for me to try and, like, filter all that out. Ice! Ice baby. 
That's right. Um, this is what would have prevented you from just walking here. We needed a people. wizard one time. Well, I mean, this is the second time it's happened that a mountain has been blocked off by some kind of, like, thing. The Elder taught us not to submit to arrogance. <laughs> Sounds like dire, right? Yeah. Do not submit to arrogance. <laughs> Oop, cutscene. Meanwhile, uh, one of the big things that uh, Ninja Gaiden did, by the way, is Ninja Gaiden, hmm. that's Ghost Games, were the first games to ever have cutscenes. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. They called it the, Ooh. uh... Shit, they called it something theater. What was the company that made Ninja Gaiden? God, I'm forgetting it. Uh... Konami? Uh, no. I mean... It wasn't their, uh... Shit. Tecmo! Yeah, Tecmo Theater. That's what they called it. Tecmo Theater. Yes. And had talking time. Okay, Must so... Must not let um, Cecil alive. Little point, but people in the chat have already uh, pointed out, I think. Mm -hmm. um, in this game, a huge iron ball is suspended over Rosa, kind of presumably to, like, threaten to crush her or something. In the <laughs> original game, the Japanese, it was a, like, a Sen's Fortress-style pendulum thing. Like a pendulum. Blade. But because, uh, like... If you actually look at it, it doesn't look like anything. Because it's over top things that are also gray, so it's kind of hard to tell what's going on there. So I actually think the ball was not a censorship thing. I think it was more a, we need to express to the player that Rosa is in mortal peril constantly. I would I would rather be crushed by an iron ball than cleaved by a pit in the pendulum. Also, Milan is reminds me of Milan's Secret Castle, which is a very bad mm. game that has a That's... very excellent soundtrack. We're going to talk more about Milan later. Mm. Um, yeah, uh, I forgot what I was about to say about the Iron Ball. Ball! <laughs> and known list of secret castles. Uh, Milan. Milan. Milan's secret castle. We've got Howl's Moving Castle. That's probably a secret. That's probably a what secret. What are those castle. public secrets? Hey, Kane. Buddy, one space after oh, a period, okay? That's one. a tab. Not that's a, that's a tab white period. space, not a space white space. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but. <laughs> Your former friend. But I sent Milan after him. My four fiends of the elements. Let me take the task. But he said slay, which means kill. I had enough of your blundering. Yeah, I guess the word slay made it past the censor. <laughs> Slayer. <laughs> I, as we were here. Yep. Just... It, it took a while for the fire to cool down, actually. Like, we got it out of the way, but it's still kind of hot. Now. Red bone. Okay, so... We immediately encounter undead enemies that the swoon thing doesn't work on, but the damage works. The yeah, damage works just nope. fine. Uh, That's kind of good. You were going to cast Maybe. fire so that I can cast cure with my other. They, yeah, they are weak to fire. They will take damage from cure. You know, I don't think a real skeleton would actually up. be very weak to fire. It must be the magic that holds them together is weak to fire. You have to get. You know, I, I haven't really like seriously examined that in real world terms, but well, you have to get you have to burn bone really really hot for it to go away, especially teeth. So if you wanted to make a skeleton that was immune to fire, you you would you would make it out of teeth. Make it out of teeth. Okay. Yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna put um, make it out of teeth as one of those other things that I am not actually going to file away because that sounds horrifying. <laughs> That's the point. You'll never be a true necromancer. Learn fire too. To be a real I, necromancer, you, know, you must not know disgust. Gonna, I think I'm gonna have to come to terms with not being a true necromancer ever, uh, because the necromancers I play are absolutely disgusted by lots of stuff. Touching uh... monsters, no. Okay. That's, that's what the skeleton Okay, is for. touching monsters, you can be grossed out by that. But you can't yeah. be grossed out by 
blood, guts, or teeth. Right. Okay. Teeth golems? Teeth golems, yes. Uh-huh. Okay. I will, I will work on that. That That is something that I, I do promise to work on. <laughs> the, best, the best necromancer for teeth golems is Dr. Teeth. He's the best. Oh, it's Tella. It's Tella. Yeah, Grandpa! Now, when you hear Dr. Teeth, I what don't. do you think of? I, that you're asking me when something happens, what do I do? And yeah. that has never and will never happen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Reminds me of... Here's a, an interesting part of animal <laughs> linguistics. Is that they've taught plenty of animals basic language skills, like very basic, like Coco and all that. Yeah, like gorillas and dolphins and stuff, right? They never ask questions. The gorillas and dolphins don't ask questions? Yeah, they'll answer them. Oh. And they'll, like, express needs and wants, but they won't ask things. That seems to be a human thing. The inquisitiveness? Or something I like that. I honestly think that inquisitiveness is definitely at least a cat and dog thing. Mm. Um, both of those animals, from my experience, have been eager to figure out what the hell is going Spy. on. Yeah, they... uh, dogs also have a strong sense of justice, but a warped <laughs> sense of what that means. <laughs> In Dwarf Fortress, they model curi cats' curiosity by making them making a cat want to go in every room in your fortress at least once. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. So yeah, this is Tello. Yes. He yeah, was a elder wizard. Yeah, I mean the kids make a big stink of Tello as this, like, cool dude. Apparently, it is vanishingly rare to be able to cast both white and black magic. Ah, but we had... But we, we, we thought it was cheap because we had Rydia, but, uh... Tella remarked nope. that it was... that she was remarkable. Yep. Rosa was captured by Gobez. <laughs> you too desire to visit every room once. Girl space friend. Girl space friend. <laughs> Hush. I cannot defeat Gobes with my spells alone. I say that on a put daily a, basis. Put a pin in that one, by the way. Yeah, we must. We must be. I've been seeking the magic of legend, Medio. Medio. Medio is too dangerous. Ah, you're too old. Oops, with three arrows. Yes, I'm old, but no matter the price, <laughs> I must. <laughs> the guilty pay the price. <laughs> Oh, man. Like, Grown-ups do like troubles. Ain't it the damn truth. Yeah, that's the thing about studying animal intelligence that's always hard. It's the, uh... Mr. Clever problem or something like that. There was a Hello. horse in the 19th century who was called something like Dr. Clever or Mr. Clever or something. Because his trainer thought he had taught the horse how to do math but the horse was just responding to the trainer's body language. Hmm. Okay. I, I was about to, to chip in that, like, studying intelligence as a broad concept at all. Is ah, what's that called? Of... It's not epistemology. That's, like, similar. Epistemology is the, the study of, um, of meaning, I think, right? Yeah. Like, how we know things. Close. <laughs> I might not be right. Like, again, I'm. I'm. I'm he is not the source. Anything, he but... is the source of all evil. Paladin, there must be a secret in the mountain of the Paladin. Uh, tell us back. Now, here's the question: Will he have the clothing I sold, or is he a nude old man? Do you, Do you want the answer to that? Yeah, he, uh, he yeah, lost his tough. hat. He didn't. He, he he didn't get a new hat, but he got a Gaia. Yep. Uh, uh, which, by the way, uh, what are Paladin Forum equipped with? Leather, I think. Yeah. So there's there's literally better stuff for them back in Mycidia, which we might actually want because we're gonna take some lumps. We're already at the seventh station. Should I backtrack for some <laughs> Gaias? The fights are easy enough, like the random encounters anyway. What I need I is an S, so would be okay, but... Ether, 
Ooh, that's a lot of money. It's a treasure okay, right I there. Remember, if, if in the coming times the like twins are flattened on the ground, well, I'm gonna give you and I told you so. Okay, that, that's all. That I I I I all agree with that. Red boat. Yeah, that's all that's at stake here. Um, Lilith, kind of mysteriously, um, is undead. I don't know how many Final Fantasy that kind of thing. Um, happens in, but yeah. I should have just cast fire on Willis. You can still, but that, that was a fucking powerful fire one. That yeah, was good, good, good on Tella. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> Red bones as a barbecue joint. Okay. I sadly cannot really enjoy barbecue anymore because I can no longer digest meat. And, like, barbecuing other things seems like kind of a waste of time. Ghouls, if you remember fighting zombies, have the kind of bullshit defense where every, like, physical attack does one damage. Fortunately, you have three magicians that can do, do powerful things to them. Yeah, two of them are running low on MP, though. That's why I've been having poor um, just block. But I've got Tilla and a flame rod. And these guys are getting the hits in. They got two turns to my one. Ah, being left-handed is goofing me. It is a bit irritating to have a left-handed character. Nice. Nice. Uh, yes. Cecil became a pig. He and I've, and watched... I've neglected to unpig. He watched the dance, and it was he so erotic that he turned into a pig. Yes. The, um, the dancer uh, played a joke on him. And we just haven't changed him back because the pig status is irrelevant for Cecil, because the only thing pig status does is silence and transform you into, like, a different sprite. So I just, I just don't need him to not be a pig. It just doesn't matter. Hyundai Burin. That is... That's something nobody knows about. Gained a level. Learn Light Lit 2. That 2 is lit. I think the, the greatest Taoist text of all is writing something that no one, not even you, will ever read. Hmm. I see. Good choice. Yes. <laughs> 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 that's, uh, that's what we call a tight concession. <laughs> <laughs> Summit. Hiss. 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 Oh, S. Yep, they give you an S. Yes, I want, I want the S, because we will feed that S a tent. Ah, yes, a special yep. zone. Now, will this remove my pig? I think it will. Am I still be I'm no longer bepigged. Well, we can fix that. Uh, pig is black magic. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Oh, yes. One MP. One MP for Got Piggy. Him. Got him. How is that co How does that cost one? What? <laughs> it's cheap. <laughs> it's not me. Here it goes. Yes. I feel something That's evil! I feel something evil! <laughs> I often feel evil. Oh no, it's purple, the color of evil! It's also kind of the effect that happened when the dancer uh, fooled Cecil with the charm of lust and turned him into the pig that he is. Galabesis, fiend of the earth! Real time for my monsters! This is a well-known thing. Uh, Mylon is supposed to be Scarmiglione. Uh, Cecil can just go ahead and physical attack Mylon. Ah, uh, I see. Twin would be good. Fire 2 is good if you have it, but you don't. Um, actually, Fire 1 all cast from Tella is it's decent. 
Yeah, that one is lit. Going after my, my my baby cakes here. Go, my children. Ugh. Don't kill my wizard. Okay, good. He did not kill my wizard. I didn't realize that it was time for the game to get like real, but we didn't like. Oh, they gave bother... you the, they gave you the blood sword, so we didn't bother leveling up Palamon for them at all or buying them anything. So they are children; they get to be beat up by zombies, I guess. Now oh, they get to cast flare and murderize them. Mm. Yeah. Maybe it's because I'm used to being in stickier situations in RPGs, but this doesn't feel that bad. Maybe not. Um, he's going to have a second, like, a follow-up boss fight to this. You should, like, heal people. Ah, that's reasonable. Yeah. I'll have poor Om do that. Up oh, dead. Uh -oh. oh, he's coughing up a tornado. His ghost is going to leave him. That's terrible. Oh, well, it takes, uh, 49 days for the spirit to leave the body. <laughs> that was for Gustav! Actually, it's just a, it, that's a Buddhist thing, actually. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know, I think, how long, I think Gustav's body, a ghost stayed in his body for like <laughs> oh, seven, seven years, years or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was, uh, it was, uh, <laughs> the, the other guy, the, the Count who, actually, I'm just going to have you cast fire too. Uh, what was his name? His friend. Who hated him? He. Uh, Ooh, you, can, you can cast slow on him. Oh, I should cast slow. I forgot what his name was. He 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 lasted several days. The grandpa, whose grandchildren, one of the, whose son died and grandchild did not die. Three thousand guilders, huh? Will Knight? No, no. Uh, Will Knight's son died, but. That's true. So I, Man, no, he was the noble me. guy. The noble guy. Um, shit. Who? Oh, the spear guy. Yeah, the spear guy. Yeah, shit. Um. Oh my god, there are too many people. Kelvin. Name. Um, Kelvin. It's definitely Kelvin. But hiss, well done. But my true strength lies in death, and with it, I drag you all to abyss. <laughs> It's like uh, that stand where the user has to die. He gets it once. Oh my god. Exactly <laughs> once. How does he know how his power works? How does he know? Okay, so because he back attacked you, yeah, my wizards fall are flat into the deep ravine. Yeah. Um, I'm going to I want recommend... to change. Yeah, you, you do want to change. That's good. Um, change. You also want to slow. And in yeah. his Z form, he is a zombie. So, Cure Magic will harm him. Tello's most powerful spell against him is Cure 2. I think. Actually, I don't remember. On this one, he was did taking not sword permanently damage. mess up Palantir, which is sort of like fixes itself. Yeah. Yep. Chop. Do you like this music? Because it's dope. I do like this music. Uh, slow works on him too, also. Just. Just so you know. Get him! Yes, and this is the Four Fiends battle thing. It's great. Um, I forgot if I mentioned this already, but Mylon is supposed to be Scarmiglione. Well, it's too long to fit. So he's Mylon Z. Way, way too long. Poisson! Uh, goes back to Dante's Inferno. Yes, the the Malabranches were Malabranch. Uh, they were groups of demons of which Scarmiglione and uh, 
I, I honestly think that Mylon is a perfectly fine, like, given the restraints. Okay, okay. Rubicante was, uh, was one of them. Who we all love <laughs> for being the lubricant. <laughs> lubricant. <laughs> Skull Milan. Skull, yes. Skull Million. Yeah, poison. Damn, poison. The poison is nastier than the attack is. Blast him! Uh, I don't have a anti-poison spell, so I guess you'll just feed. Yeah, well, heal. The, the heal item is pretty good, and we're yeah. gonna get a lot of them. So, uh, if you had a staff, you could also use the staff as an item, and it would. Oh, Tella has a staff, yeah. so I could just have him. Oh so, yeah, he yeah. could <laughs> pick himself up. Uh, okay, that fight was not as bad as I thought. <laughs> well, I... The fire, too, was, was blasting. Yeah. 1,000 experiences. Stop. You violated the law. <laughs> Stop, citizen. Have my what? You beat me twice? Oh, later. Gerba! Gerba! I think he was trying to say gold ends, but oh, who knows. Ah, uh... uh, yes, time to ruin your encode, because this is an old Final Fantasy game, and someone is poisoned. My boy. Son, who are you? Son. This piece is what all true warriors strive for. <laughs> if I'm not back in a month... Sin oh my god, dinner. I cannot wait to see this cutscene. <laughs> Cecil is a pig. <laughs> <laughs> Sorrow fills me. I shall entrust my piggly might to you. So yeah, they do the whole, like, Superman, Kal-El, Jor-El thing. Like, mystical space dad inspires us. Haha. <laughs> Take this sword of light, and then from a pig become become... a shot. Ah, uh, pig becomes man. <laughs> no, pig becomes man. What? Pork becomes How long did this pork. Happen? Conquer your darkness within. <laughs> I wanted to be the one to fill your dark pig <laughs> with light. <laughs> your dark pig with. <laughs> oh Lord, capital L light. Two Cecils. Two Cecils? Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Dude! Dang. Dude! Hey, Dude. Hey, Dude. I don't remember the lyrics to Hey, Dude. I just remember the melody. I must Don't defeat him too. Make I mean... a bad way to make it better. Oh wow, they unpigged you. How nice. They unpigged me. I could cast cover. Yeah, so uh, you should block and heal yourself and shit. Don't fight him. Ah, okay. The, um. Yeah, I, I don't know if this is conveyed super well through the mechanics. Um, but Dark Knight there is using the, the like, Dark Wave. Yeah, which, which, which costs blood. Japanese costs blood, so you're supposed to, like, let him spend himself trying to kill you and failing. You must and not then, fight you know, now. The, yeah, the super text says, don't fight. And if I get too low, I'll just pop a heal two potion. Yeah, y you won't, though. This won't take that long. Justice is not the only right in this world. Will I die if this hits me, or should I use a potion? Ah, you're, you're fine. Ah, yeah. There you go. Justice is not the only right in this world. Someday you will see. Um, that said... Justice is, is a right in this world, and a very important one. And uh, one that is not present. This is an unjust world, and you should push back. I 
put my spirit into the power of light. Friendship is the magic that turns dreams into reality. Perceive the light, last light left in me. Wow. We are just cruising. I, oh man. I guess I have a warped sense of how long it takes to complete this game because I played it as a child and like was constantly grinding and not realizing it. It's oh, you, you're the paladin. You love fighting. Everybody loves fighting. I did love fighting. I don't know if I like it anymore, but I did love it. Everyone else gets to have a reflection now. How, how special. Mm, what does Tella say? I remember the spells. <laughs> he recalled all the spells he had forgotten. <laughs> yep. But not only that, he gets a new one. The light has bestowed upon me the greatest black magic. Which is actually a time magic, but don't worry about that. <laughs> we don't have time magic yet. We haven't invented it. That happens next game. I know they were about to tell us something. They were. What was? What was? What were they? What could they have been about to tell us? What do you think it was? Uh, were they spying on us? Yes, they were spying on us. <laughs> That's what they were about to tell him. <laughs> they, they mentioned it before. But who? <laughs> to whom are they spot uh, reporting to? It's either the I wizard don't know. Or... They probably have like a wizard telephone. It's one of the dwarves. The wizard telephone dwarf, yeah. Um, so, anyway, so, so, uh, Cecil is paladin. a paladin now. He, he's nude. Well, they gave him cloth. They gave him cloth, but they destroyed the, the the black I gave him. Yes. Just destroyed. It's annihilated. I'm sorry, this kind of thing happens. It happens. I spent money on that, but they gave me 6,000 gil for beating up uh, Scarmigliane. Okay, let's let's S um, and call it a stream, I think. This is a good okay. stopping point. That's good. <gasps> You're back to being a pig. What? Nope, that was the Wait. save screen. That's oh, fine, that though. Was the save screen. That was the I, save could, screen. I could re-pig him, but now he actually has magic. He literally does have one spell that he can cast, like, two times. <laughs> yeah, how many times can he cast it here? He can cast it three times. Three times? Mm. Oh, wow. I just have a... I have no idea what things cost in terms of MP in this game. Double save, Sorry. he's got anxiety. Anyways, uh, that's, <laughs> that's going to be it for now. I want to thank Kaz for putting me up. Uh, putting up with I that. had a blast. What a, what, a, what a nice game this is. It's, it's so very, cozy. Very com comfortable game. Hmm. Just don't worry about it. Just don't worry yeah. about nothing. It's so, like, it's so low stress. It's, it's, it's this fight I thought it was going to be this big deal. It's just really, ah. Yeah, kind of slap it out of the way. Whatever. So here's, uh, here's all that he knows. The Agas now. How many of those yeah, can he cast? He can cast three. them three times. And uh, also Tello cast... will never get more than 90 MP. Yeah, he'll never be able to like cast it. Meteo. Yes. That's kind of a... It's, it's a thing. Don't yeah. worry about it. He's but he still can cast really good. Virus a few times. Here's an old friend. <laughs> Anyways, Burks. the Burks. <laughs> the Burks. Uh, that's going to be it for now. Thanks everybody for joining. <laughs> Good night.